Christopher Smith, also known as Peacemaker, is a hero turned villain turned hero who operated as a vigilante taking down criminals such as Kite Man. Hell yeah! Good God. Before being apprehended, sent to Belle Reve, and recruited by Amanda Waller for Task Force X, also known as the Suicide Squad. In today's video, I will be breaking down Peacemaker's skill and abilities to determine just how powerful the Soldier for Peace truly is. It's been a while since my last DC Extended Universe power scaling video, and as with all of them, I will only be covering the feats and statements applicable to the DC EU version. That means no comics or other source material that isn't canon. And just as a side note, I'll do my best to show all of his feats, but Warner Brothers is a hell company that does not recognize fair use and copyright claims everything. So I'm sorry if the editing in this video isn't up to the level of our Marvel Cinematic Universe power scaling videos. With all of that out of the way, let's take a closer look at Peacemaker. Christopher Smith is the son of Augie Smith, who was a trained soldier and leader of a white supremacist organization known as the Aryan Empire. Augie spent a good portion of his life as a supervillain known as the White Dragon, and after having children, spent his time training them to kill from the moment they were born. Eventually, Augie would pit his two boys against each other in backyard brawls, where Christopher accidentally killed his brother. From that point on, Augie became a relentless tormentor of Chris, forcing him to train day and night, and even kill defenseless people. Chris eventually made a vow to himself that he would do anything in the name of peace, and this vow warped his reality, turning him into a heartless killer. Eventually, he would call himself Peacemaker and make a name for himself, but his lack of a moral compass led him to become imprisoned and then recruited into Task Force X. Amanda Waller took interest in Smith for his code and also his incredible skill. She states that anything in Peacemaker's hands becomes a deadly weapon. Not only this, but Mern, a high-ranking and lethal Argus soldier, states that Peacemaker is a born killer with expertise in every weapon known to humankind. And let me repeat that in case you missed it. Peacemaker has expertise with every weapon known to humankind. Not only this, but he is a world-class marksman on the level of other legendary gunslingers such as Bloodsport, who puts Superman in the ICU with a kryptonite bullet, and Deadshot, who's the man who never misses. So not only is Peacemaker held in high regard by the most important black ops organization in the world, he backs up these claims again and again using his incredible skill to match Bloodsport in a killing contest and even being able to hold his own against Judo Master. While Judo Master may not look like much, he shouldn't be taken lightly. Argus considers him extremely dangerous, and he was chosen to be the personal bodyguard for the Head of the Butterflies, and they even allowed him to retain his own free will. They could have easily taken him over and had all the memories and skills of Judo Master, but allowed him to work alongside them, giving him the respect that he deserves. Not to mention that the official DC Comics website states that he is a highly trained martial arts expert. So Peacemaker being able to hang with Judo Master in hand-to-hand -hand combat is obviously very impressive, considering the fact that Judo Master could easily take down high-level Argus agents like Amelia Harcourt. So Peacemaker is extremely skilled, that much is obvious, but there's more to the story. He's such an elite killer that he knows and can employ a one-shot kill technique that even the soldiers of Corto Maltese consider a myth. With a single, well-placed strike, Peacemaker can end anyone's life who isn't prepared to counter such an attack. Someone like Colonel Rick Flagg, who is stated to be the finest Special Forces officer the US has ever produced. Peacemaker not only took Flag on, but beat him in a fight to the death. So yeah, Peacemaker has shown he's worthy of the high praise given to him by Argus. Additionally, being a master of Black Ops, Peacemaker is an incredibly efficient assassin, able to kill without being noticed by utilizing the many deadly weapons he has at his disposal. No one likes to show off. Unless what they're showing off is dope as f 
As for strength, Peacemaker is pretty ridiculous for a standard human with no powers. He's able to toss around Rick Flag like a rag doll, throwing him several feet. Peacemaker can also hold his own against butterflies and even briefly block their attacks. Butterflies are bug-like alien creatures who take over human hosts, and upon doing so, the butterfly enhances the human's physical strength, speed, and durability far beyond the standard human's capabilities. So being able to physically match a butterfly, even briefly, is very impressive. We also see Peacemaker perform incredible feats of strength on Corto Maltese, where with one arm, while off balance, he's able to slam a soldier's head so hard that it cracks reinforced bulletproof glass. As for durability, Peacemaker is consistently showing that he's simply built different. Of course, he survives being shot in the throat and having a building dropped on him and then recovers almost entirely, except for his clavicle, which was the only bone which needed replacing, and let's keep in mind that his shoulder was giving him issues the entire first season of Peacemaker, so all of his feats post the Suicide Squad would be from a nerfed smith. He can tank attacks from the enhanced butterfly-controlled humans and even the White Dragon, who with his bare hands can rip through solid steel. His punches pack so much power that they send Peacemaker flying dozens of feet, but Chris is able to get right back up and beat down his deadbeat father. If this wasn't impressive enough, he can also take direct hits from Charlie, a butterfly-enhanced gorilla, not to mention he apparently wrestled a gorilla at Burning Man. For reference, we don't have any real data on how strong a gorilla is at its peak power, but according to NyungwayForestNationalPark.org, gorillas can lift up to 1,800 pounds. So Peacemaker being able to endure the grappling and the strikes from a normal gorilla would be extremely impressive, let alone the butterfly-amped Charlie. And now that we've discussed his skills, strength, and durability, I'd like to cover his extensive arsenal of weapons. Firstly is his iconic Desert Eagle, which can be outfitted with a scope or a silencer, depending on the mission. It can also be loaded with exploding compression bullets, which makes any typically non-lethal shot very, very deadly. He's so proficient with this weapon that he can fire it and hit his target without even looking. Not to mention that he can match Bloodsport one for one and only lost the shootout due to his bullets being larger than Bloodsport's. During his shooting practice with Vigilante, he showed off his skill with a Keltec KSG as well as a Heckler and Coke HK416, which he also used to shoot a peace symbol into an appliance. He's also shown proficiency with Lugers, Colt Action single revolvers, Remington shotguns, an FNP-90, a Barrett M82, although he refused to kill Goff and his family with it, and Peacemaker has also shown skill with tomahawks, swords, blowguns, bows, and his Shield of Peace, which he was able to shoot with his Desert Eagle, launching the shield into a butterfly, killing it instantly. Of course, he's also used various explosives, even combining them for a larger area of effect. But his most iconic equipment has to be his various helmets. Created by his father, his helmets have a wide variety of functions, but he needs a new one if he wants to alter the abilities that he wants to use, so they're not just an all-in-one Swiss Army knife. He has at his disposal a sonic boom helmet, which obliterated a butterfly-controlled being, and keep in mind that butterflies have enhanced durability. He has an x-ray vision helmet, which he used to identify butterflies, and just as a side note here, Peacemaker's hearing is also peak human, you could even argue above peak human. He was able to hear a single butterfly following him from a decent distance away, and utilized his x-ray vision helmet to confirm it. He also has access to a helmet that can infect everyone within a one mile radius with scabies. Scabies is an infestation of the skin by human itch mites. The microscopic scabies mite burrows into the upper layer of the skin where it lives and lays its eggs. Horrifying. He also has an anti-gravity helmet, a full body force field helmet, one that allows him to breathe underwater, a prototype torpedo helmet which launches the user at incredible speeds, among others that we don't know much about at this time. 
So, in summary, Christopher Smith is one of the most skilled combatants in the DC Extended Universe, up there with the likes of even Batman. He's strong enough to hold his own with enhanced beings, and equipped with enough weapons and gadgets to make even Cyborg blush. I love what James Gunn has done with the character of Peacemaker, and John Cena is excellent in the role. I can't wait to see where his story goes from here, and I'm excited to see Peacemaker Season 2. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Peacemaker, and let me know if you want a video on Vigilante. There isn't that much information on Vigilante at this point, but probably enough to get a decent video out there for you guys. So let me know if that's something you guys like to see down in the comments. And remember the motto, it's Peacemaker over everything, and I'll see you guys next time.